<laughs> so if you gather around here, you can see there's uh, three different Come sinks. On, the middle sink here, you'll see has a little bit of color to it, but you don't see any particulate matter in the water. That's after microfiltration. So that's that first treatment step we saw with the hollow fibers. That's the one that's equivalent kind of to the purple pipe we talked about when they used to irrigate golf courses. This is after reverse osmosis and ultraviolet light hydrogen peroxide. That sink far away from me, that's the brine or the concentrate. That's what the RO has now removed from this water and concentrated it into 15% of its normal volume. That's why it looks so dark. That's the stuff that we send to the ocean, mix it with secondary effluent, other treated wastewater, and goes out to the ocean. So this is uh, kind of the, one of the downsides of reverse osmosis. It always is going to produce a waste stream that you have to deal with. And it's not easily reclaimable to try to reuse it. In our case, we're lucky we have the ocean and we're not causing any detrimental effect. So if you're up for it, I'll take the first one so I can see that I don't keel over or anything. Um, just to let you know, this is probably my thousandth time. So. <laughs> So we always have the sink here. We set it up to kind of show that what's possible. By law, California Department of Public Health, the water that we produce out of this plant, we're not allowed to directly send to someone's home because of where it started. That's why we call it indirect potable reuse. That's why we put it back into the groundwater table. We don't actually send it out. Right? And we couldn't even if we wanted to, even though it's got the quality or better than what you get normally out of the tap. You'll taste it, it might be a little flat. This isn't after the mineral addition. The mineral's after this where we add some calcium back in. It has a little more taste. Bottled water companies kind of do the same thing where they put it through reverse osmosis, but then they put in the minerals that they know people like the taste of. We're not here to do that. Anyone else that didn't get a chance? And you would encourage other communities to definitely support projects like this. Absolutely. Well, it makes sense. I'm very impressed with the engineering that is behind this. It's fantastic. We're lucky to have this here. Okay, so you guys just tasted the water. What did you think? It's excellent. It tasted fine. It tasted fine? It tastes just like water? It's like tap water. All right. So you just tasted GWS water. What did you think? Um, it was good. It tasted a little bit like distilled water. And had you ever heard of this concept before coming here today? Um, just, I'd heard the words, but I hadn't really heard it explained. And what are your, what's your initial impression of GWS? Oh, I really like it. I, I think it's, uh, it's fascinating what, what we're doing here. What would you say to people in other communities who might be considering this? Uh, I, would, I would say it'd be a good idea to adopt it. Um, you know, anytime you can uh, reclaim water, why that's uh, it's a great uh, benefit. How does it how does it taste? Like water? Better than the bottled stuff. I'll tell you that. That's what it says on the cup. Tastes like water because, because it, it is water. water. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, clever! Who thought that up? <laughs>